Chris. And I'm Molly. And, and we're, we're the, the Flying, Flying Hens. Hens. Welcome back to episode five of the Hen House Adventures. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to follow along on our journey as we travel the country in our RV. Right. So we started off this week uh, wrapping up our time in the Florida Keys. While we were down there, we met another full-time RV family, the Florida Keys family. They're on Instagram, not on YouTube, but check them out over there. And they settled into the Keys after full-timing in their RV for a while. Uh, they invited us on their boat to go on a nice fishing adventure. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was one of the best days we've had so far. Uh, we did a lot of catching. Yes. It was not fishing. It was just catching. I mean, they just came into the boat. They we, like, kind of they, oh, they all. It was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like Jesus filling the boats. Uh, but, yeah, it was... We caught, well, I think we took home about 40 snapper. It was awesome. And uh, they became tacos later. Taco, and tacos mm -hmm. tonight. And tacos probably tonight. tacos tomorrow night. Yeah. Probably the night after that. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of fish. And uh, we caught some sharks. Like, Sailor reeled in three, three sharks. sharks. That was pretty sweet. Molly caught a grouper. We had to toss that back. Not we also season. tossed the sharks back. Oh, it's yeah. Pretty, well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they also took us to one of their favorite spots to go. And that was, uh, like, this private island with like a sandbar and just a cool place for the kids to go explore. Mm -hmm. They had tree swings. Tree swings fun. in the water. Mm -hmm. It was not just tree swings, tree swings in the Over water. Over the water, yeah. Uh, and there was a couple of nurse sharks that came through. They were probably six to seven feet uh, nurse sharks. And what did you do? So naturally I went snorkeling with them and I had to go find them. Uh, it was really cool though. I did get to see them. Uh -huh. uh, they're nurse sharks. They're gentle. They're, they're very docile creatures. Until uh, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they were fine. I didn't kick them or anything. Uh, then we went crabbing, and I got crabs. Uh, the, uh, but anyways, uh, Rick and Anna, the Florida Keys family, they have crab traps. So we got to go check that out and see what that was about, and that was really cool. Yep. Uh, we saw a pot of dolphins. We saw, you know, just all in all, a really cool day. Cool experience. Finished with a lot of fish cleaning. Yes. It was, it was like a long time. Uh, but anyways, it was an incredible sunrise the next morning. We had to leave. It was travel day. It really made us not want to go. And yeah. I mean, so much so that like, I don't know. I, I think I could see myself settling there in the future. Yeah. But one day. Not yet. One day. Not, one day. Not now. We still have a lot to travel. So after that, we headed to the Everglades, and we went to the Everglades Safari Park for an airboat tour. Thank you, Everglades Safari Park, for hosting us. We had an awesome time. Mm -hmm. um, our airboat tour was about 40 minutes, and we only saw a few gators. Um, it happened to be windy and kind of cold that day, so if you do head to the Everglades mm -hmm. and want to do an airboat tour, just a tip. If it happens to be a little Go on a hot day... day um, you might not see as many gators. Hot day, the gators come out to sun. Mm -hmm. And then after the airboat tour, they do a, a, a show. We have an exhibit uh, for gators. Mm -hmm. And, and you, can, about the you can learn a little bit more facts about the gators and you have an opportunity to pet one. After the Everglades, we headed to the Dupuy Water Management Area. It's a great boondocking place um, in Florida. It's free, which is free. right up our alley. Um, and it's actually a really great boondocking place. Uh, it, they have fire rings, picnic tables. Um, they have a facility with hot showers and toilets, which is like basically a boondocker's dream for mm -hmm. camping. And they have a free dump site too. Free dump so. site. They have water spigots around that you can fill up uh, water as well. Yes. One of the cool things about boondocking and just traveling full time in an RV in general is the people you get to meet. Like when at our campground, we were there next to a Sasquatch hunter. Like Sasquatch hunter, I've never met one of those before. It's pretty pretty cool. So first for me. Yeah. Uh, we then moved over to the West Coast to a Harvest House, mm -hmm. uh, and over here in the Sarasota area, the Cock and Bull Farmhouse, we used this as our staging area for our next adventure, yeah. which was like a treasure hunt for the kids, which they for loved. you too, and for me. Yeah, it was uh, mostly for you. Yeah. Well, we went to Venice, uh, Casperson Beach, and that beach is famous for shark tooth hunting. Shark teeth hunting? Tooth. Shark, shark tooth, shark teeth hunting. I've heard of both ways. No, you haven't. Uh, but anyways, it didn't disappoint, okay? Uh, How many we, sharks teeth did we get? We probably got about 40. 
Uh, there's smaller teeth there, but sometimes you can find some big ones. People have even found Megalodon teeth there. Pretty sweet. So that was a lot of fun. Yesterday. A lot of fun. Didn't disappoint. Nope. So now we're uh, about to leave here and head further north to go boondocking uh, near the Tampa area. Mm -hmm. So follow along next week and uh, tune in to find out what kind of adventures we got ourselves into. And I also heard that there might be a football game tomorrow. I think I heard that. So I'm just game? there mm. for the food and the snacks. I don't know. Maybe we'll tune in. I don't, maybe not. I don't know. But just uh, go Bucks. Go Bucks. See ya. Bye. But you have an entire car ride to do it. Jeez. We need we need to actually write out a full script and a teleprompter. <laughs> it's, it's about to happen next week. <laughs> next week I'm gonna have it done. Okay. In the airplane. <laughs> you are just trying to prompt me into my pilot speech. Ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, reached our cruise now. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, we have a new YouTube video up this week.